Hey guys, I'm Dylan John, and let's cut out the fluff and jump straight into this thing. How annoying is it when you're playing your timeline and it jumps, skips, and just doesn't play back smoothly? It sucks so much. This will fix that. If all of your clips seem to have trouble while editing them, select the event or events with your footage, right click it, and hit transcode media. You can also select individual clips that are causing you trouble, right clicking, and hitting transcode media to transcode those shots in particular. Or when you're importing your footage, you'll see you have transcoding options available on the side here. So transcode media, what does that do? How will that help me? Optimizing your media essentially takes your footage and converts it to an easier to work with form of that video with as much image quality as possible. Essentially, converting to this makes it easier for your computer to handle editing your footage. And it'll look good on your viewport too. However, the downside to this option is that optimizing your media will cause your library size to grow much bigger. It also takes longer for Final Cut to transcode your media with this option. So basically, you're gonna have better editing performance and playback image quality in return for a bigger library size and a longer wait time for it to transcode. The overall best option, in my opinion, that will keep your library size down, give you decent video quality playing on your viewport, offer you smooth playback, and not make you have to wait a while for your footage to transcode is this ProRes Proxy transcode option. Specifically, ProRes Proxy at either 50% or 25%. Basically, the smaller the scale percentage, the worse your footage is gonna look in your viewport, but the smoother it'll be to play back your footage and edit. Remember though, that crappy quality is not what your exported video is gonna look like. You're basically just making lower quality previews of your original footage to help you edit with ease. To make sure these previews you just made are showing up on your timeline, go to view and hit proxy preferred. Proxy preferred will show you all of your proxy clips and all of the clips that you didn't transcode to proxy. Proxy only will obviously not show those clips that weren't converted to proxy media. So this is why proxy preferred is what you'll almost always set this to. If you still find that your computer struggles to play back your footage in Final Cut, you can try ProRes Proxy at 12.5%, or you could try the H.264 proxies for even worse quality in the viewport, but possibly smoother playback for your computer. Just make sure that when you do export, you go back to view and switch the media playback to optimized slash original. And if you forget, no worries. Final Cut will let you know when you try and export. And because this process of transcoding can tack on extra gigabytes to your library size, regardless of whatever option you chose, make sure your library is selected, go to File, Delete Generated Library Files, and delete the proxy files that you created to delete those previews. I'd also delete the render files and the optimized media if you made any. After all, you can always re-render or re-transcode the media easily if you need to edit in that project again. Deleting these things screws up nothing. If this was not your first time seeing one of my videos, consider subscribing. That way you get notified about different helpful tip videos that can change the way you edit. Have a great rest of your day, guys.